if you can describe the glasses and what would it be? It's cool. Efficient. Fantastic. Touristic. Incredible. Hilfreich. Innovativ auf jeden Fall. Und das ist gerade richtig geil, dass das direkt übersetzt. Das ist super. Ciao, Eder. Can you tell us something in Italian, please? Buongiorno. Spero che il mio italiano sia abbastanza buono per questo video. What kind of sorcery is this? Well, this is the Rocket Mac. With this, your grandkid can connect to their Steam Deck. These Rokid smart glasses might have just done what even Meta couldn't. For years, Meta's been the loudest voice in the smart glasses world. But Rokid showed up quietly and dropped something lighter, smarter, and way more personal. This thing doesn't just record your world, it helps you interact with it. And these glasses? They weigh less than most sunglasses. That's the part that shocks people the most. You put them on and go, how's all that tech even inside here? So yeah, the hype makes sense. Rokid's built something that doesn't just compete with Meta, it might have just changed the whole game. But how did a company that most people have never heard of pull that off? The new challenger in the smart glasses race. So Rokid didn't just appear out of nowhere. They've been in the AR space for years, building devices like the Rokid Air and Rokid Max, each one getting smarter and sleeker than the last. And this new version is the moment all that work finally clicked. It's where mixed reality meets artificial intelligence in something you can actually wear outside without looking like a cyborg. Now here's what sets Rokid apart. Meta's strategy has always been about connection, live streams, social sharing, and keeping people inside their ecosystem. But Rokid's different. Their vision is about blending tech with life so naturally that it doesn't feel like tech anymore. So you don't have to be posting to feel connected. You just live and the glasses keep up. The AI sits quietly in the background, translating conversations, helping you navigate, giving you reminders, even nudging you to fix your posture when you've been slouching too long. It's the kind of intelligence that doesn't interrupt your flow. It adds to it. And just so you know, these things look like regular glasses. Lightweight TR90 frames, flexible arms, and minimalist build. You could walk into a meeting, a cafe, or a park, and no one would have a clue that you're wearing something this advanced. It's basically power disguised as simplicity, the kind that makes you go, okay, this might actually be the future. Design that outsmarts the competition. When you first hold them, it feels almost wrong, like they forgot to add the hardware. They weigh around 49 grams, yet inside there's everything from mics and speakers to sensors and a full-on optical AI system. The TR90 material keeps them light and flexible, and it's also eco-friendly. That means you can wear them all day without feeling that heavy pinch behind your ears. And for anyone who needs prescription lenses, you're covered. They're myopia and astigmatism friendly, so more people can actually use them daily without any compromise. And it's clear the designers didn't just focus on features, they focused on comfort. Because when you forget you're even wearing them, that's when the experience really begins. Compared to Meta's design that leans on fashion and branding, Rokid went for something smarter, something you can live in. It's the kind of design that kind of disappears, so the experience can take center stage. And once you realize that, you start to see why everyone's calling these the real competition. GPT-5 on your face. Now here's where things start getting wild. Rokid's not just building glasses that show you stuff, they've built something that understands what you see. Inside these frames is an AI assistant powered by GPT-5, and it's not the kind of AI that waits for you to type a question. This thing listens, looks, and responds in real time. You can literally ask, hey Rokid, what do you see? And it'll describe what's right in front of you, a modern living room, a park bench, a cup of coffee sitting next to your laptop. And it's context aware, meaning it understands the world the same way you do. So when you ask, where's the nearest subway? It doesn't just give a random list. It knows you're standing in the city, facing north, and it guides you like a human would. And that's what makes it different from Meta's assistant. Meta's still figuring out how to blend camera data with AI understanding. But Rokid's already doing it. 
And just so you know, it's not about showing off features. It's about giving AI a perspective. The glasses combine your voice, your surroundings, and your intent to give answers that feel natural. So it's not a chatbot on your face. It's more like a thinking companion that's seeing the world with you. And the best part, it doesn't need you to over-explain everything. You can say, translate that sign, or remind me what this building is, and it just gets it. That's the power of multimodal AI, an assistant that processes both what it hears and what it sees. I mean, imagine the potential here. You're walking through a museum, and instead of staring at labels, you just look at a painting and ask, who made this? And the answer appears right in front of you, instantly. So you're not searching for information anymore. You're living inside it. This thing doesn't feel like using AI. It kind of feels like expanding your own senses. Translation magic and real world use cases. Now this is where Rokid really flexes. Real time translation. Dual eye subtitles. And I'm not talking about clunky delayed captions. The text appears right in your line of sight, so you can keep eye contact with the person you're talking to. You can be chatting with someone speaking Mandarin, Japanese, or Spanish, and the English translation just floats subtly on your lens. And it's not perfect yet, but it's already close enough to change how people connect. I want you to picture this. You're traveling in another country, sitting in a cafe, and trying to order food. Normally, you'd probably pull out your phone, open an app, type, or talk, and then just awkwardly show your screen. But with these glasses, you just talk. They listen, translate, and display the subtitles as you go. So conversation stays natural and connection stays human. And that's a big deal because the biggest problem with tech has always been that it pulls you out of the moment. But Rokid's doing the opposite. It's giving that moment back. There's a reason so many people online are calling this a universal translator for your face. It's not just convenient, it's life-changing, especially for travelers, expats, or even anyone working in global teams. And just so you know, this translation system isn't using some basic speech-to-text API. It's built on real-time processing that fuses both audio and visual data. That's why it feels so fluid. The AI listens, recognizes and displays the subtitles within a split second. The real magic is how natural it feels. You're not fumbling with screens or headsets. You're just talking like a normal person and the glasses handle the rest. That's the point where it stops feeling like a gadget and starts feeling like an upgrade to your own brain. The smartest companion you've ever worn. Now here's where this thing starts feeling less like a gadget and more like a real assistant. Rokid didn't stop at translation or AI search. These glasses actually help you live better. You can tell them to take notes, remind you about something later, or record a quick memo while you're on the move. You can say, make a note about the client call tomorrow, and it just saves it automatically. No app opening and no distractions. And when you're out and about, it's like having a personal navigation guide that just talks to you through those open-ear speakers. Spatial audio keeps it clear enough that you can hear every detail, but private enough that people around you don't. There's also that AI posture reminder that gently nudges you when you've been leaning over your desk too long. It sounds small, but it's one of those features you end up loving because it feels like the glasses actually care. And the 4-mic array with AI noise reduction makes sure your voice commands sound sharp even in a noisy cafe. You can take calls, play music, and navigate hands-free without ever touching your phone. So it's this balance between function and subtlety that makes Rokid special. You're not using technology anymore. You're just living your day, and the AI quietly fills in the gaps. That's the moment when smart glasses stop feeling like the future and start feeling like your present. Creator's dream and Meta's biggest problem. If you create content or tell stories, this part will blow your mind. Rokid has a built-in first-person camera that captures what you see exactly as you see it. You can shoot vertical or horizontal videos, switch perspectives on the fly, and even use a hidden teleprompter that displays text right on your lens. 
It's a game changer for vloggers, journalists, or anyone who talks to the camera. You can look directly at the lens, read your script naturally, and no one watching will ever know. It feels like having a studio built into your glasses. Now, Meta's Ray-Bans can record video, sure, but Rokid just took it further. These aren't just for recording your life, they help you present it. And that's where Meta's problem starts. Rokid didn't try to copy them, they went after what Meta skipped, actual usability, real-world AI integration, and features that save time instead of feeding algorithms. So you're not live streaming your life to the internet, you're capturing it for yourself or using it to create something new. That's the difference between content for attention and content for creativity. And these glasses are what happens when human-centered design meets real artificial intelligence. Meta's crown is shaking. Here's the thing. Rokit didn't just make another pair of smart glasses. They built a blueprint for how AI and AR can work together without overwhelming people. Meta's betting on social, while Rokid's betting on simplicity. And honestly, that's what gives them the edge right now. They took something that used to feel futuristic and made it practical. It's not about looking like Iron Man anymore. It's about wearing something that actually helps you think, work, and live better. And just so you know, this is only the beginning. The glasses we're seeing today are the foundation for what's next. Full mixed reality devices that'll layer AI information into your vision instantly. And Rokid's already halfway there. So yeah, Meta's still huge. But if there's one company proving that innovation doesn't need a trillion dollar budget, it's Rokid. Because the future isn't about who makes the loudest announcement. It's about who quietly builds something that makes people's lives easier. And right now, Rokid's the one doing that. And that's it for today. I hope this helped you see how Rokid's new AI glasses are completely changing the game for wearable tech. If you want to check them out yourself, I'm putting links to them in the top comment. If this video opened your eyes to what's really happening in the smart glasses race, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's coming next. And if you like this one, YouTube thinks you'll love this one next. Thanks for watching.